Hello and welcome to today's program. I'm so excited that you are about to see for yourself God's mighty manifestations. Today you will hear from ordinary people whom God has shown that he still does miracles today. You will see that God is not dead. He is not just in the history books. He is alive and able to heal and set you free right now. So please take the time to see what God is doing and then join me later when I will tell you how you can receive your own miracle today. <music> Now let me come to the law of death. The Apostle Paul speaks about the law of sin. Then about the law of death. Now when the Bible speaks about the law of death, it doesn't speak of physical death. It speaks of hell. Of eternal damnation. Of being lost forever. That's what it means when the Bible speaks about death. The wages of sin is death. That is the kind of death the Bible talks about. Now look at my book. Look at my book. If I throw up my book, it will come down. Where will it stop falling? Here? 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 No! Where will it stop falling? It will, it will go to the lowest point possible. And the lowest point possible is the bottomless pit. It's what scripture calls hell or death. The law of sin and the law of death are twin laws. They always move together. They love each other. Where the law of sin is, you must know the law of death is not far. And where the law of death is, you must know the law of sin is somewhere. Because the law of sin and the law of death are the laws of this world. But I didn't come to Boko to just speak about the law of sin and death. That would not have been worth my ticket. I have come to speak about law number three. And the apostle Paul was rejoicing when he said, the law of salvation has set me free from the law of sin and death. Shout amen. amen. When Jesus arrived in this world, hope arrived in this world. And when Jesus died on the cross, when he cried out, it is finished. And when three days later, he rose from the dead, a brand new law entered this world. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. The law of salvation. And that law is 
more powerful than the law of sin is more powerful than the law of death is more powerful than satan himself why don't you say amen I say to you as a servant of God here today I don't care how many times you have fallen even if it is one million times as of this hour you never need to fall again now let me explain to you how the law of salvation works look at my book please look at my book I'm asking you please tell me why is this book now not falling Huh? This book now is not falling because there is a hand under it. That hand is a picture of the law of salvation. That hand is the nail pierced hand of Jesus when he was crucified and his holy blood was spilled and when he rose from the dead and when Peter preached the gospel on the day of Pentecost for the first time this miracle happened the hand of Jesus stretched out to catch falling people. And I know this time, this moment, even as I speak, the hand of Jesus is reaching out for you. He will intercept you. He will catch you. Hey! And I tell you, the moment you agree to receive Jesus into your life as your personal Savior, instead of going down, 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 you're going up, 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 every day. Up, 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 higher, 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 right to the new Jerusalem. Shout hallelujah. This is the law of salvation. People of Baku, rejoice! Nobody needs to perish. Nobody needs to go to hell. Jesus is here tonight. He's reaching out for you. Say yes to Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. And he will cut you. For the first time you will know you have a solid rock under your feet. Because the world and the lusts of the world shall pass away, but he who does the will of God shall abide forever and forever and forever. Amen. Amen. You don't need to live in prostitution. You don't need to be a thief. 
You don't need to be a liar. You don't need to be a fornicator. Jesus is here to make it all different. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Are you happy? Yes, I once preached here on this platform. As I walked down at the end of the meeting, there was a lady waiting. A very beautiful woman. Very expensive clothes. She said to me, can I just speak a little bit with you? I said, yes. She said to me, Reverend Bonke, can, can Jesus save a person like me? I thought, what a question. She's such a wonderful person. I said to her, of course. Of course. She said, you only say that because you don't know who I am. I said, no, I don't know you. Who are you? She said, I'm prostitute number one in the city. Would Jesus save a person like me? I said, yes. Jesus didn't come to shame sinners. He came to save sinners. He didn't come to tell them how terrible they were. He came to seek and to save those who are lost. I said, lady, you are lost and Jesus is here to save you. Jesus saved her that very moment and today she is a fantastic Christian. The Holy Spirit is speaking to my heart. He's telling me now he are lost daughters in this crowd. Lost daughters. And I must tell you what the Holy Spirit is telling me to tell you. Let Jesus scrub you tonight with his nail pierced hand. You will never sell your body again. Your body shall become a temple of the Holy Spirit. Say Amen. What was wrong with this gentleman? Brian. He was Brian for three years. Did you bring him? I came with him. Sir, can you see me? Yes. What type of a man am I? A white man. Follow me. Follow me. No, no. How long could you not see? Three years ago. For three years. And now Jesus has opened his eyes. Is that a wonderful miracle? What is your name, sir? Wefred Amoko. Where's your home? Wefred. Yawa Mukun Tolo Ukande. I am from Okun, from Okande clan. Amen. God bless you. You brought him. Jesus did a miracle for him. I bless this man in Jesus' name. 
I pray, Lord, that you may bless every, every area of his life. I bless you and I bless you as well. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Go in peace. Go in peace in Jesus' name. This young man has got a special testimony. Let him say it himself. I was HIV positive for three years until in just who said I wouldn't want to go there because I've been praying with other pastors but I've not been receiving healing. On the last day of the crusade, I went there, I was present to see the man of God, come close to the man of God, but I couldn't come close to him. The just crusade was January this year. So I just wrote a prayer point and I dropped. Uh, he prayed and he said we should go for confirmation test the following day. Immediately the following day, I went for the test. I went and sat in the hospital, I put my head down. I was, wait I was waiting for the result. When they brought the result, they told me, congratulations. I said, for what? They said, you are HIV negative. I said, are you sure your machine is working very well? They said, very, very well. These are uh, the, 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 the results here. This is Peter Ngutsum. Aha. And here it says HIV screening test negative. Negative. Have a look yourself. Negative. Well, God is faithful. And the same miracle has happened to multitudes here tonight in the name of Jesus. You're, you are no more going to live in sin. You will live for Jesus and you will serve Jesus. I bless Peter. I bless Peter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let him become an evangelist, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Just look at the people, please. Look at the people. Okay. Who's going to talk, husband or wife? Let me talk. Praise God. Uh, we wedded the year 2000. After our wedding, the devil denied us of the fruit of the womb. So when we heard that uh, the man of God was coming to, for, to Makodi for a crusade, we decided to attend the crusade. Then the very day he was praying for the pregnant, uh, for the barren woman, I decided to write the name of my wife, including the name of my two sisters that were equally barren. They were at Lagos. And so I submitted the name of my wife first, and then I request that the, that the yoke of the barrenness in our family must be broken in Jesus' name. And equally, I, I, have, to, I have to mention that that God should bless us with three male uh, child. And then when I submit the prayer request, I return back to my local church. I went and collect the tight card. And I told my wife that, that we have to write the name of our child. And start paying for the, for the tight. Then we, we now wrote the name of our child, Miracle Gabriel. And then right from that Sunday, we started paying tithe for the child. It was not up to one month, my wife then took him. And they have this bouncing baby boy. Equally, my two sisters has, uh, has, uh, has given birth to two, uh, two bouncing baby boys too. I say, God, who has done this, may then be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow, you must be happy. Amen. Amen. Yes. What is the name of the boy? Miracle Gabriel. Miracle Gabriel. What a beautiful name. Lord, that Miracle Gabriel grow up to become a preacher of the gospel. I bless this boy. I bless the mother. I bless the father. I bless the two sisters. I bless those two children and those two families in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace. The Lord has blessed you with great abundance. You have a similar testimony. I was married in 1996. I haven't got a charge about seven years. When I went to my body for crusade, then when I come back, I take, then I give birth to a baby girl. 
So I went to praise God. Yes, we praise the Lord together with you. I bless this beautiful girl and I bless the mother and the father and the family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hey! Hey! Wow, what happened to you, sir? Last year I got an accident. Uh, I had an accident and I was unable to walk myself. Without crutches, I cannot walk. Even today I come here with these crutches. But as soon as I, I come here, I was feeling something within my leg, you know. And you can walk now. I can walk now. And you will walk better every day, every day. And next week you're going to play football. I would like, I would like that. Yes, amen. Amen. I was unable to walk because my my waist was was not balanced, and my my leg too was removed from the socket to the back. But today, as I'm here, I can climb this these steps here, and I'm very happy. Are you happy too? Lord, I bless this. I bless this man in Jesus' name. You have shown so much mercy to him. Let him be gratefully follow you. Be following you. In Jesus' name. You are a witness. Is that correct? A witness, sir. Amen. I bless you as well. In Jesus' name. Go in peace. Go in peace. Welcome back. The people we introduce to you today are ordinary people. People like me and people like you. And as you saw, God touched their lives. The wonderful news is that God also wants to bless you, heal you, and show you his mighty manifestations this very moment. You know the most amazing miracle is that of God's forgiveness. In the Bible it says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This means that none of us on our own are able to make it to heaven. No matter what we do on earth to try and earn our way to heaven, there is no other way than to ask God to forgive our sinful ways. God is merciful and just. God loves you. He loves you unconditionally. That's why he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us. So if you want that guarantee of knowing your past is forgiven and that you have a place in heaven with him forever, then just pray this simple prayer with me right now. Let's call on the name of Jesus this very moment. Pray with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, yes, I am a sinner, but I heard that you came to seek and to save sinners, of whom I am one. Come now into my heart and life. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your redeeming blood and break every chain of bondage. I now put my trust alone in your name. I believe with my heart what I speak with my mouth. Jesus Christ is now my Savior. He has received me as his child. I belong to him forever. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. If you just prayed that prayer of salvation with me, we at Christ for All Nations want to encourage you by sending you a booklet that helps you understand what we have just prayed. It has been translated into many languages 
And if you write to the address on the screen, we would be honored to send you a copy free of charge. I cannot close this program before I pray with those who are sick and in desperate need of God's healing touch. The Lord is able to heal you right now, wherever you are. Just open your heart, open your spirit for the Holy Spirit and the hand of Jesus will reach across to touch you and deliver you. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of infirmity and command it to depart. I pray for every sickness to be healed. Lord, you have said, by my stripes, you are healed. And I thank you, Lord, that you paid the price for the healing of my dear friend this very moment. Touch them this moment and heal them this moment. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now grab it by faith. Thank the Lord for your healing. Do something you have not been able to do and you will find out that Jesus has done a great wonder in your life. Well, thank you for watching the program and I pray that God will bless you and keep you and that you will experience his mighty manifestations in your life. God bless you.